So, you want to make your own crackers, but Ritz has already got the market pretty held down. I don't know what to tell you. Hey guys, welcome back to Spike. I'm Kai and today we're back once again taking a look at how to create these cool pixel art health bars, stamina bar, mana bar, whatever bar, chocolate bar for all I know. I don't know what you're doing, you know, it could be that, who knows, you know, but uh, we're taking a look at how to do these kind of cool pixel art styles today. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. It's super fun. Oh, uh, Pixar is always super fun. Never, never hard in that way. Never super complicated. It's just like a, more of a process kind of a thing. So let's go. Ahead, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and and start with a base, which is always uh, our black color. Our black color is gonna be the base. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decide how big I want these to be. So we'll start up here in the uh, in the in the in the top right corner. Not all the way up at the top, just for the tutorial's sake. We'll start like down here, um, and we'll do something that's about like maybe this many's. There we go. Almost about half of one of these squares, which is, I do believe, is 16 by 16, by the way. So there you go. So 16, 16, and then this is 16. So half of this would be um, 8. So we're going to go 8 down. Um, you don't have to follow these measurements exactly. I'm just telling you guys what I'm doing. Um, so we're going to go 8 down. Actually, I'm going to go on the outside of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on the outside like this, and then go 8 down. And then we're going to go maybe about this big. Just, just to start off with, I know that I want these to be five big in between so one two three four five and then one there um and then we'll go one two three four five and then one there one one two three four five and then one there and then one there by eye we'll do like this one two three four five there uh okay and then this one's a little off as well so we'll have to fix this one so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is now even. So how many is this? One, two, three, four, five. We'll, use, we'll get rid of this one. So I wanted to have five little pills all the way across. Um, and then actually, maybe that's not enough. It was kind of small. Maybe we'll do more. So we'll just move this over. Hit M on your keyboard to kind of drag a box over top of all of this stuff here. And then we'll just move this all over uh, about, uh, about there. Yeah, and then we'll hit Control C and Control V to copy and paste this. And we'll just pull it over here. So we'll have was this 10 bars. That's nice. Pretty 10. That's that's a pretty good health bar size, I guess. Um, then we'll go select, deselect, and now you can see we had this nice little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the E key to a, go to the eraser, or you can do it over here as well. This little eraser button. Um, just erase these four corners because uh, I don't really want those. Gonna, not gonna lie. So um, I don't know if I want this to be even sized. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Wait, wait. So we we'll hit M and we'll split this in half. Just drag a box, box over top of half of it and then we'll just pull it up by two pixels. So now these are all perfect squares, which is cool. So uh, select it, deselect. And now you can see we have something that looks like this, which is pretty basic, pretty simple. But we're, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and actually kind of maybe, actually, wait, I might like the, the hard corners. The hard corners look kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. Hmm. We'll do different styles. We'll do different different styles. We'll do this. This one will be a health um a health bar, and then the other ones will be like different kinds of, of bars, I guess. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and uh, uh, and do different styles. So for this one, I do want to make it a health bar, so I'm gonna make this one red. Um, so we'll hit uh, grab a nice little red color. They're not too saturated, not too dark, just something super super uh, easy on the eyes like that. Hit G to bucket fill. I'm clicking inside of all of these little squares. And we're going we're gonna to go ahead and um, maybe we'll make some of them empty. So let's grab a dark gray color with a little bit of blue tint in it. And then we'll just fill a couple, maybe two of those. So maybe you're missing two little health pieces there, which looks pretty cool. Um, and what, what we'll do is I'm going to make this look a little bit better. So we're going to go ahead and go back to this red color. So hit I on my keyboard to grab that, that red color. And we'll drag this up to the top left and we'll add a little bit of, eh, a little bit of, a little bit of pink. Oh, that's good. Something like that, maybe. And then actually, maybe. Eh. Can't decide what side I want this to be on. We'll just do the top. And then I'll just hold down shift and we'll we'll just cover everything. And then we'll just replace the black just so we can. Yeah. Something like that. Now, if you were doing this for an actual game, you would obviously have all these pieces disconnected. So you would have the red pieces, like pretend these are red. We have all the red pieces up here separately. And then you would have this entire thing be all solid gray, like these two down here. And you can just overlay these red pieces onto the game you know obviously so you can take away and add you know health you know, when someone gets damaged or someone heals or something like that so uh, but for today's tutorial obviously we're going to just leave it like this so i'm gonna go ahead and maybe i don't think i like it but let's take a look ah, it's not bad it's not bad it's not bad i do want to if i do this i do want to round these corners though so i'm gonna round these corners after i finish this we're gonna go ahead and do like this get rid of all of these all these little pieces on the sides and we're also going to go ahead and we're going to do this. So these look more like gemstones now, which looks pretty cool. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other, opposite side. So this would be this color and this color. And we're going to get rid of um, all of these pieces. And you'll see why in a, in a moment here. Once we do the shading, it'll it'll make much more sense because this is the highlights first. Um, now I'm going to grab the original red color we have. And I'm going to drop it down. Uh, drop the color down and drag it to the right a little bit. And add a little bit of pink into it. There we go. Not that much pink. Whoa. All right, cool. So now we have something that looks like this. And we can just go ahead and fill this piece in like this. And I'm actually going to... Yeah, that other this little corner right here, this is going to be a little darker over color, so we don't have to worry about um, not coloring over that. So we'll just fill it in in a moment. Oops, that's not right. Um, there we go. And then this piece over here. Nice. So with this um, bottom corner piece, I'm going to make this a darker color. So let's drag it down a little bit more and a little bit, a little bit more pink to it. And then we should have something that looks like that, which looks really, really good. There we go. Nice. Perfect. So that was pretty cool. It looks like gems or some kind of like stones or something pretty neat like that. Um, now, I think I want to for this top piece, I want to in between color between this red color and this highlight color. So let's grab the highlight color and then drop the opacity down uh, about 50 percent right there. Then hit B to just fill in to brush uh, over top of that. So now we have a little in between color. So it's a little brightly highlighted in the top left and it's a little darker in the bottom left in the bottom right. Sorry. Um, so that's good. I like that a lot. It looks pretty cool. Um, now we could do something like this, which is semi-popular in some games. I uh, have little health things like that. I don't think I really like it though. So let's try with a darker color. Let's just try with a, uh, sorry, a lighter color, not darker color. Let's try with a lighter color. This is color that's in the bottom right. And what does that look like? It's all right. I mean, it's okay. I, maybe even lighter. Maybe the lightest darker color that we have something like that i just don't think i like it not gonna lie i like it better this with the solid colors like that pretty sweet now we could go ahead and take a step further and do something like this and make it look a little bit more chunky instead of all together like it's one bar but i don't think i really enjoy this for this particular style it looks too separate like that in my opinion but like I said, you can do anything you want, obviously. But what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and make this a little less um, separated by grabbing a red color and darkening it quite a bit. And then putting this in between all of the bars instead of it being solid black like that. There we go. Um, we'll leave those black. All right, cool. So that's really cool. Um, I want to make these make it maybe a darker gray instead of black, though. So we'll just grab a darker gray color and fill those in. That looks sweet. It looks all together now. It looks all like very simple. This is like a more straightforward of a health bar. Of course, you could literally leave these flat and this would still look really cool in my opinion. I think this flat style graphic looks really sweet as well. So you could really literally do that. Um, you can go for something more simple. Let's actually just duplicate this and create a couple different variations. So move this one up top and then we'll hit control C and control V and paste it. Um, and we'll do something like this. So we'll make this one even flatter. Um, so we'll do like a bunch of different variations. This is pretty cool. I do enjoy this, uh, this kind of art doing this kind of art on the channel it's very fun so let's go ahead and uh, get rid of all this now you can see you can do something much more simple here um with literally just the colors that we already have and then s the slightly darker color on the bottom here and use something like that and just fill the bottom in just so it looks like there's a bit of a shadow on it um and then that's all you got and then wait but we can we can do a lighter gray color so we'll drop this opacity in half and there we go Pretty cool stuff. Literally, you can do something like that, and that still looks good, depending on your art style. And you can see we only changed very a very small amount of things. You can even leave these these bars in the middle uh, black for this kind of style because it's it's very like minimalistic color. Um, so you can literally leave these these bars black, and then you can fill in the the uh, corners again. The simplest style in the world, and it, it is appealing. So the most important thing that 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 I'm trying to look for in this is if it is a appealing. Um, now you can go with a super 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 bright like highlight on this this is like minecraft style there's like a heart in minecraft and um the the health bar in minecraft is has a really really bright highlight on the top of it um i don't think i like like this for this style but if you wanted to you could probably get away with doing something um like this as well but i i personally don't like this too much it's from from far away it's not too bad but the the, the super stylized bright white color is a little much for me um now let's go ahead and get into maybe some different types of health bars, I guess. So let's do like a different shape here. 
Um, what What's another type of um, health bar that we could do? Let's see. We can do something that's really, really kind of crazy. So I've seen some some cool maybe RPGs that's kind of done this. So let's put Pixel Perfect on, and we'll just kind of create a base, and we'll make like a little like a little line. Oh, this is looking weird. Hold on, let's undo Pixel Perfect, and then we'll just we'll clean it up ourselves. All right, cool. So we have something that looks like this, which is pretty strange. But bear with me now. So let's let's say it's some kind of RPG game that you're currently doing, or something you're doing where you need this kind of GUI. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up all of the extra pixels we have on the uh, all the ends here, make it look kind of swirly and whirly and whatnot. Um, yeah, there we go. And then something like that. And then like this, and then like that, and like that. Okay, cool. So we, I just want this all to be like one singular line that just kind of travels through. Um, so what, what we're going to do with this is, there we go. So what we're going to do with this is we can connect some, some little circles, some balls to this to make it look like it's, you know, some sort of um, health line, which is pretty cool. So um, maybe like this is a vine that's going through, but let's go ahead and put some, put some circles, circles, some, put some circles on this, you know, put a little bit of circleage. Uh, I might go with a, like a green color for this. Maybe it looks kind of like life, you know? So we'll put some, some here and here. This is a really, really unique kind of idea, I feel like. So this is pretty, pretty cool. Um, we'll do like this. And then all of these little bars, all these little bars are different like health points that you have and all uh, and if you lose them then you die <laughs> um so let's go ahead and i'm going to change this vine color to like a dark green and then we'll just put the outline around it so this just bear with me this bear with me this is looking a little strange so far but just bear with me ladies and gentlemen all right so let's do something like this fill all this in now that we got the base down and we look good nice cool so i'm going to fill in the remainder of this with the black thusly and we'll be able to kind of get the show on the road now what you want to keep in mind when creating like gui especially in pixel art form um you do only have a limited amount of space unless you're doing working at really high resolutions you know but for the most part when you're doing gui you want to keep it as straightforward as possible i say as i'm making the most complex gui system you've ever seen in your life that's the reason i'm deciding to tell you this right now this will work in a lot of different situations but i just want to get, give you guys some inspiration because i see a lot of comments that are always like oh this this um this gave me an idea to do this and this and this. So hopefully maybe this is sparking something in you guys' minds while you're watching this. I'm not necessarily saying you should particularly create this exact uh, pixel art GUI style, but it is something to maybe think about. So let's go ahead and kind of separate these up a little bit so you guys can tell where the health is at a glance. And there we go. And we'll make some of these grays look like they've been damaged maybe. Um, so something like this, and then we shall, uh, make this like a dark gray, and then there, we we'll just use the same color, hit I to I drop this, and we'll just use these, there we go. So it's kind of like maybe like fireflies, I don't even know what this looks like, it looks like something pretty cool, um, but, uh, and then we'll just like, you know, make this a little less harsh, like that, like that, like that, um, all these in between pieces, wait, what the heck? Oh, that's a vine right there. Actually, wait, no, this is a vine. All right, and we'll put that there, and then this there, and this goes there, and this goes there. Nice, cool. So, um, I really do feel like I can darken this area, make that a little... Oh, wait, no, that doesn't really fit. Huh? Wait. Um, darken a little bit of that, and that's good. All right, so I just want this to be a little softer through here because it looks a little harsh for the most part. Um, so let's go ahead and do something like that. Just kind of trying to fill in this space that we have. Some of these pieces are kind of getting doubled up somehow. All right, and then we'll put this there. I don't want any of this to be on the outside, so you got to be very careful. Like, I don't want this color to be there on the outside because, I mean, I want the black outline to, to shine through. Um, so you got to be careful as to where you're putting some of this stuff sometimes. And then that goes there, and then this is a vine, I believe. Maybe something like that. Maybe we'll leave it, actually. Like this and like that. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. And then we will um, be able to go ahead. So now we have this this cool looking style. Now this is really, like I said, really unique. Um, and I like this quite a bit. So it's like each time you get damaged, one of these little um, like life 
ball things kind of disappears. It's kind of like fireflies in a way. Well, maybe highlight like that with the really bright white stylized. I don't know. Maybe something like that. I don't know if I like this yellowish color, but like I said, just for the sake of the tutorial, we'll move on because that is a, a pretty long one we just uh, tackled there. So let me actually uh, I guess we'll get rid of this piece there and there, and we'll just end it up right there. Nice. Okay. Um, with that done, I like that idea a lot. Actually, that's pretty sweet. Um, that's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. All right. Um, that's an ambitious one though. That's an ambitious one to, to, to get to work and look, uh, how you might want it to, to look, but, uh, but it does look pretty cool though. All right. Um, so with that done, I want to move on to maybe a stamina bar, which would be similar to this, this style up here. So let's go ahead and actually duplicate. Um, let's duplicate this one and then we'll use this one as the base. So control C, control V move down here. And then we will use this as the base to start from and we'll maybe have them like connected like this. So let's, um, something like this and maybe we'll have like, uh, three stamina bars. We'll do three, do three. And then maybe we'll push them inwards. So they're only like two pixels or something like that. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Um, and then we'll also edit this one as well. So this is a little thinner. So it's like, so it's like that. I want these to be maybe two pixels, two pixels big. Cause that's, that's a kind of a cool idea. Yeah, there we go. All right, cool, 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 cool. So we use that as a base. I have this be two pixels big. So this kind of reminds me of Minecraft. This is kind of how Minecraft's um, GUI looks in some areas. So you have, um, so you have like um, the health bar and the stamina bar, not health, not health, I'm sorry, the uh, experience bar looks just like this in Minecraft. Um, so I think that, that this idea looks pretty sweet as well. Um, I think I want to offset this like that. It looks pretty cool. Wait. Okay, I like that. We do like this. And then the more stamina you get, maybe the more you level up, um, the, the more you are able to extend this bar out. So then this bar can maybe be as, as long as the health bar, or it can go as long as um, about there. All right, cool. So then now we have the stamina portion, which will make um, blue. That's a typical color for stamina. There we go. And um, there we go. Yeah, so we'll maybe do a couple grays in this as well. And then we will fix that up. There we go. Okay, maybe one more gray. Um, nice. Okay. So that's pretty sweet. I enjoy that. That's nice. Um, I do want to have this, this color, a darker blue color in the middle. So it looks consistent like this. There we go. Actually, do we Nah. Okay. Um, so that was good. I like that a lot. Now this looks good flat. It does look good flat. It hundred percent does, but I think I want to maybe unround these corners and do something a little uh just super simple maybe we'll follow this style up here and we'll just do the one darker color like that how do you feel about that maybe we'll do a lighter color actually not a darker one maybe we'll do the lighter color and put that up here maybe it's too bright we'll do the in between oh, 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 oh. if you pick if, if your if your cursor gets bigger like that you accidentally held scroll control and scroll and you scrolled the scroll wheel you can turn it down um, or you can go up here and turn back to one pixel. There you go. That was a, a little, a little tip for you guys. There you go. Um, and we'll maybe color these in like this. Take a look. See, um, that's all right. It's okay. I like it. I do like the flat better. I'm not going to lie, but these are just like nice design ideas. Like it's more like pixel art GUI design ideas is, is what I'm doing right now. So we're doing, doing like concept, I suppose. And then we'll do a, we'll do one more and this will be the classic, um, like heart system. So we'll make like a heart. We'll do like a shape like this and we'll maybe go down like this. And these will be pretty big hearts. Cause it's, I don't like the smaller hearts. The smaller hearts look kind of weird sometimes. Um, but this might be too big depending on the kind of game you're doing, but we're only going to do three hearts. So this will be like uh, maybe a harder game where you only have like a few lives and you can't take too much damage, something like that. There we go. Um, and then we'll copy this red color again, hit G to paste that in. And we'll use this darker color, not that darker color. Whoa, 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 whoa. We'll use this darker color as the, oops, as the, uh, bottom portions like this. And I don't want to color the whole thing in. So we'll just do a couple pieces there and we'll put that there. And then we'll do like on this sides, not on the bottom there, side there, and then there and there maybe. 
Okay, looks pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Actually, instead, I want to do a different shading style. So we'll do something kind of kind of crazy here. We'll grab the darker color, but not the darkest color. And we'll do something like like this. Um, and then we'll drop this piece down. All right, so the inside, we'll, we'll skip two pixels. So there'll be two pixels on the outside of all of this. Um, wait. Yeah, two. Okay, and then maybe get rid of this one. All right, cool. So we'll do two pixels on, on away from the edges on all of this, and it'll be something like uh, something like that, maybe. And we'll do a little bit bigger down here, like that, maybe. Uh, I think it looked fine like that. That's cool. I enjoy that. Nice. I enjoy that. I enjoy that. I enjoy that. I do want it to be a little darker though. So maybe we can get away with doing the darker. Ooh, ooh wait. Now nah, we'll do the whole thing. All right. I got the whole thing in there. Um, and that looks pretty pretty cool. I like that. I like that quite a bit. Maybe, can we even get away with the black? Uh, I mean, we can, depending on the art style. But I think I want to leave it like this. And then we'll grab the lighter color. And then we'll have it, like, on the bottom here to shade that. And then we'll do it on the top up here. There we go. That's too light, though. We'll do the in-between. Oh, fix that one. All right. A little in-between color here and there we have it i enjoy that quite a bit maybe the brighter color was the way to go because it's a little hard to see from far away you got to keep in mind pixel art's going to be pretty small like that depending on how big uh, your game is but maybe we'll maybe we'll leave it like this that's all right it's fine it's fine like this all right cool um and then we maybe maybe we want to do a little bit of shading on the bottom here just a little bit of shading on the bottom there we go and Eh, looks kind of pillowy. You don't want a pillow shade. It's gonna uh, pillow shading is basically just putting shading on all around it. But it's looking that way because we have this darker color, we have the lighter color, the the lighter color, and then we have the lightest color right next to each other. So it's kind of weird. So stick, try to stay away from creating three different tones right next to each other. So we have this dark color, that one, and then the, yeah, try and stay away from that. So I wouldn't shade that bottom piece um, th in that way if I was um, doing this uh doing it working on this uh, gui for something in particular or just and even for this tutorial but yeah something like that maybe i'm trying to decide what i want to do there oh wait 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 oh wait we kind of split it in half that looks kind of cool oh thoughts i enjoy that okay wait oh wait i love this a lot i like this i like this i like this a lot okay that's pretty cool so we'll split that in half like that and then maybe Oh, yeah, I love that. That's way better. Okay, cool. These are the things that happen. These are the kind of things that happen on accident, and it just looks way better. All right, cool. So that is um, thoroughly enjoyable. And then can we maybe do a, the darker, the darkest color here? Uh, right there, maybe right there. Oh, wait. Maybe there and there. Huh. It's just so... Yeah, okay, I think I like that. I, th I like that a, a lot. Okay, I think that's the, that's the best look that we have. Um, I do, I think I want to maybe make that not so hard on the bottom there. Maybe we even, no, 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 no. Okay. All right, cool. So we get rid of that little, that little, that little onesie tip there. I don't think I like that. I mean, I kind of like it both ways actually, but we'll leave it like this for now. Um, and then I think that's, uh, looking pretty good. I, I, I enjoy that. It looks really, really cool. Um, and then of course you would just duplicate this out. So control C, control V, skip a space, control C, control V, skip a space. And then let's say, um, we'll do maybe one more. All right, we'll do one more. And then, uh, let's say this heart is fully gone. So this would be all gray, except for that piece in the middle. Keep that piece in the middle intact. Cause I want to make that black like that. And then we'll color that in black. And then this one, let's say this one, you're missing half of a heart. Maybe this has a half heart system, unlike the other bars. And then we'll do like that. And this will be the darker gray color right there. Cool. So that is, oh, we, we got rid of the, um, okay, wait, that piece goes there like this. And then like, uh, like that. And then like this. And then we match the other side. Okay, cool. And then we match it. Okay, nice. Yeah, okay, that's that's how that goes. Um, this dark gray color, maybe we'll make just a slighter darker gray color for that. Wait. Drop it down. Okay. Yeah, I I, I can deal with that. That's cool. Um, nice. So this is the um the GUI system that I kinda wanted to do 
today. Now, the cool thing is, is that these are all essentially the same thing, but they just look different. So it's really, really cool. It's super fun to get into it. It's super easy to get into. So I hope you do, uh, I hope you do this a lot with your time because I thoroughly enjoy this kind of stuff. I'm going to actually shade this a little bit. I don't know. Wait, let's, uh, let's grab this darker color and we'll shade this, these three pieces in there, maybe, and then maybe like that, maybe this. Yeah. Wait, maybe this too. Okay, I can get with that. We'll shade all of this, actually. There we go. And then where, wherever it touches, we'll just make that darker piece. Okay, that's really cool. That is really, really super cool. I really enjoy this last this last version we just did. That's really, really sweet. I like all of them for different reasons, um, but uh, but I do really enjoy this this last one. This last one's pretty cool. So we have one that's shaded, that's kind of like rounded off a little bit. We have one that's completely flat style of the same shape. We have a super more advanced one, and then we have a just more classic type of um, singular bar style uh, GUI, um, unshaded. But you can use these techniques on any of these bars, obviously, you know, shade them unshaded. And then we have a more classic style kind of thing right here. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's tutorial. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye bye.